Parents, this video is for you on teaching you how to create a PowerSchool access to your child's information. You should get from your school a letter that looks something like this. It will say about the parent portal, where to go. This information here on student access right here, that's for your child to log in. The information you're going to need is this information right here. So when you get the letter, don't confuse the student one with the parent one. So with this letter, you're going to create the account. And I'm going to walk through and do this right now. OK, so I'm at PowerSchool. And I'm going to go to Create an Account. I'm going to click there. And then right here, Create an Account. I'm going to put in my name, not my child's name, my name. So Mary Star. I have to have an email address. So if you don't have one, create one at Google. Um, they're free. I'm going to make up a, a name. Um, just put in my name again. You can put it up wherever you want. And you have to do a password. It has to be at least six characters long. So doesn't like it, but I don't care. OK. Now, that letter that you got, this is where you're going to put your information. So my child's name is Superstar. <laughs> the access ID code was over here. I'm just going to grab that and put that in. And then I have my access password. I'm going to put that in from my letter. I'm the mother of this child, so I'm pick mother. But you can have, you can see, you can have a lot of people watching grades. And if I had more than one child, I can put their information in here too. I can put up to six kids at a time, or actually seven kids at a time, uh, their attendance. So I'm going to go ahead and put enter. OK, it takes me back to this login screen. So with the information I just put in, I'm going to put in my username and my password. And when I sign in, I can see my child. Here she is, superstar. I can see her grades. So this is Mr. Dawson, and she's got some good grades here so far. I can go and look at attendance history. And I can see that she's been had pretty good attendance here. No problems with that. I can look at teacher comments if there have been any. So I can look at whatever Mr. Um, Dawson said in here. You can see the school bulletin if there's any information on that. And you can see the schedule of the child. Now, if I had more than one, see this tab up here? I have star here. If I had uh, another child, John and Alan and Cameron, they would all show up here. And you could have different tabs that you could do. You can change your preference accounts if you want to. You don't have to. And when it's time to register again for school, there'll be a little button down here that says, do my registration, and if I need to change any information on my child, like the telephone number or we've moved, I can put that in here. So this is how you get access to your child's information and stay in touch with the teachers.